So, President Xi's initiative is on the right point for the China's sustained growth. The growth path that China is embarking now will allow it to improve the quality of its growth uh, to more sustainable levels. Yes, if we look at the uh, historical evidence of the economic growth across economies before China's past growth, uh, certainly the supply side is uh, very important for long-term growth. So President Xi's initiative is on the right point for the China's sustained growth. The, the Chinese consumers themselves they prefer to buy clothes made in Europe, for instance, than clothes made in, in China. But China is the largest factory of clothes in the world. So why is this? And it may have to do with the fact that, uh, again, quality-wise, there is a need for, uh, uh, for improvements. There is a need for more investment in that respect, rather than quantity, as it was in the past. Um, that's part of, again, of climbing up the value chain in, in production so that China, again, can, can compete uh, with those uh, world brands uh, at the same level. Looking through the, the 13 five-year plan, I think that there are some elements there uh, that are directed, again, in that, uh, in, in that same, uh, uh, to, to that objective. And so I'm, I'm also optimistic in that sense. I think that, you, you said it, China has a very large market, a growing market. Uh, that market is uh, of great interest to foreign competitors. And uh, again, the competition is what should drive uh, the China's upgrading uh, and a better uh, participation of China's brands uh, in in the global market. Now the thing is that Chinese growth had depended on exports, but the export markets in Western economies are slowing down, and therefore there's a rethink about whether this uh, mix of these three drivers should be uh, rebalanced. Of course, uh, when Pres President Xi Jinping came and the new policy and the 13th five-year plan, they all uh, contemplate to rebalance the economy, or they call a harmonious society. So uh, rebalancing means uh, increasing the share of consumption, increasing the importance of domestic markets, and decreasing the importance of investment spending, and, uh, and decreasing the dependence on exports alone. The role of innovation, of course, as a growth driver comes from the supply side. So consumption plus investment uh, plus exports, this is the demand side of the picture, the aggregate demand. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, economic growth from, uh, from a structural or supply side, it is it's a consequence of innovations, productivity, technological change, and all that. China grew rapidly during the last term, more than two decades now almost, and its growth rate has slowed down. But I think China uh, is adjusting uh, it's, it's in, by its own policy decision. The growth path that China is embarking now will allow it to improve the quality of its growth uh, to more sustainable levels. And I do believe that this, quote, new normal that one is talking about will also take China uh, continue to continue its march uh, towards uh, further uh, uh, improvement in the living standards of the people, better quality of life, and uh, more sustainable, I think, is more important factor in my, in my mind.